coronavirus fears are impacting the markets, but could all of the trouble actually lead to a big silver lining? With interest rates getting lower and lower, applications for mortgages are jumping. Can we expect a housing boom this spring? Let's bring in the owner and CEO of Rogers Healy and Associates, Rogers Healy. Rogers, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Are we going to see a spring housing boom thanks to these incredibly low rates on the 30-year? I hope. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I think just like a lot of us, we're kind of just a little bit in that fear of the unknown phase. But yeah, the, the, the last couple weeks have been nothing short of crazy in a really, really good way especially for the people that are in the mortgage business. But yeah, the, the spring market is right around the corner. This is normally when it gets very, very, very busy, but it got busier a lot quicker this year. And I think that we're gonna see something really, really interesting for the next couple months. Good. We talked last week about refinancing are, are, are jumping and that's like, you know, 79%, which is amazing. But if you look at the 30 year right now, 3.25%. Right. We haven't seen these type of interest rates uh, since, gosh, 2013, I wanna say, Rogers. Yeah, and, and they're still going down. And I think that people love incentive no matter what's going on, the talking heads or the stuff that's actually really going on with the world. People love incentives, especially if it's financial. So yeah, we've got people that have come off the fence that have been sitting and looking, or people that weren't even thinking about doing something, like myself, I'm refinancing right now, I had no intention of doing it, and it mm -hmm. makes sense. So yeah, there's there's definitely gonna be some continued action. Yeah, I mean, looking at the, the applications just in general for mortgages, 55% jump in just right. one week. Now, let's talk about the banks though, because obviously you have to find the house, which right. if you've got nothing else to do this weekend, you don't mind going out in public, maybe go look for one, uh, right. but if you were thinking about it. But also, how quick do you think the banks can process the loans? There's been questions about that, if they are overrun by refinancings and new uh, mortgage applications. Right, I'm not in the banking world, but I've done it long enough right. to tell you that I think there's gonna be massive delays. Okay. which is going to play to the favor of the consumer. Once you get locked into a rate, you have X amount of days to go and actually close on it. But if you're closing with an actual bank, they're going to make some exceptions to the rules. So I, I think it's going to play to the favor of the consumer. And I think interest rates are going to get closer and closer to 2% as time progresses. Mm -hmm. What about inventory out there? Because in some parts of the country, inventory is low. New York City is one of them. But in other parts, inventory is actually pretty strong. That actually helps spur buying, correct? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, supply and demand 101, but the spring market is normally when it gets the busiest. Spring to early summer, year over year, whether there's a, you know, a pandemic like the coronavirus or it's just a normal year like last year, this is when people come in and start making moves. So, yeah, I think in the next two weeks, we're going to have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like for the next, you know, the next half a year. Well, there's one other group of, of uh, buyers I want to address, and that's those that are looking for a second home or looking for investment property. That could be a second home. That could be a piece of commercial property. What do you say to that buyer right now, potential buyer? Let's go. Let's do it. And I think with, with the, well, for, for real, with the oil yeah, prices, no, no, no. what, what okay. happened this week, people are going to really gravitate more towards a tangible investment. And mm -hmm. real estate is the most tangible and old school investment on planet Earth. So I think that we're going to see people looking at something, maybe not for appreciation, but just to go and hold their cash in something. Mm -hmm. Even if it's for a couple years. So I think that the second home market is going to be a really, really interesting one for the next few months. And Rogers, we'll leave it there because, to your point, the secondary investment to the stock market is the real estate market. And it, I think it's about to just really get on to be a piece of fire. I hope you can come back on television if you're not too busy. We love having you. I'd love to come back. Have a great day. <laughs> All right, Rogers, thanks.